What's up guys, Shuri here, and I'm going to talk about rushing. Sadly, whenever you wanted to rush, it got overshadowed by using the Undying. Until now. So, one thing about a lot of the Undying alternatives, you'll see a lot of clips, you won't see a full game. And the reason that you're going to be able to use this is the eye. And what you want to do is you want to look for the little red glowing dots, so you know where everyone is on the map. You want to make sure that you identify where all of them are. At the very least, say three of them. And even look for dead bodies because that counts as information of where a player will spawn. So you kind of know where he generally is too. This can help you avoid getting in distances where your bastion is going to be at a disadvantage. We're going to run pretty much any shotgun as a backup to the Bastion, and then we're going to have a scout as a traditional rush loadout would. And it actually works out really good, because as long as you do it early enough, you can kind of know where people are, and if you don't miss all your shots like I do, then you can actually kill them. And after this game, I will get into the very specific things to do with this combo, but mainly, the biggest things you need to know is the headshot damage that you get is going to be pretty good, but you don't have to waste your Darkstalker, which is always great in case you want to run a sniper loadout. But the biggest thing that you got going for you is that information you provide yourself whenever you use the eye, and that way you aren't getting snuck up on right there. Normally, I would have ran right out, died to that guy camping behind the tank, but I know all of them are back there. So instead of running out and dying, I get to wait for them, and I get to help my teammates out a little bit, and I'll try to go around, and unfortunately do end up dying, but undying wouldn't have really helped me anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. We're gonna go into the green thing, our eyes down, but we do end up getting a kill, and you should always be paying attention to when your eyes are gonna respawn, so you don't just have it up all the time without using it. So we already know as soon as we spawn where it's going to be. And then we saw the guy in the top tower, the guy right in front of us, and the guy to the right. That way we know exactly where they're all going to be, and we're able to position ourselves accordingly. This was making it able to be able to do damage to their whole team. We ended up killing three of them. And not only were we able to make sure that we had all 1v1 gunfights when we killed all three of them, we also knew where they were, so we could have the right weapon between our porcupine and our bastion already out. And that is just huge. Right here, we see there are two on the right side that spawn. A third one had spawned just there, and then one more on the left. Because we saw the guy on the left, we're not going to go and try to go around. And we know that guy was going to be there in front of us. So we went ahead and had our shotgun out. We knew that last guy was in spawn. So we push up and hit him with our underbarrel grenade. This right here is what makes eyes so valuable. And this is exactly how you should be using it and why it really is great. So we use it immediately and we saw the two on the left. There's one right there. And we saw this guy without the eye. But we were able to know to stay behind that wall because of the guys on the left. And we were able to find everyone. Right here, you can even see me take a double take. I was going to go to the middle, but I saw that they had some two guys blinking around, and we were able to actually take them out and really hurt their original strategy in the beginning of this ball game. We were able to make a successful flank and take out their snipers as well, and that is a really big part of this, is getting that information and doing your best to be able to move around the map without others knowing and undoing what you think they're going to do. Right here, we see a guy is up top trying to screw with us and there's another one coming down the alley and because of that, we were able to use the underbarrel grenade to end up killing both of them. And since the eye doesn't last forever, you want to kind of look around before using it and see what you can kind of learn. Right here, we waited and we looked and saw two going left and then the guy that was kind of straggling behind chose to go to the right. Then there was also one close to us. That way we already had our pork out. Then we immediately knew to go for the guy in the middle. 
but we still have the information about the people flanking, and that is huge, because it allowed us to stay on the other side of this wall, so they couldn't all shoot us at once, allowing us to take out a lot of them. The eye isn't just for the information you learn instantly, but it can help you kind of guess where people are going and what they're going to do. And because of all that information we had, we were actually able to come back and win that ball game because we were able to basically undo all of their plans. Right there, you have two on the left, one dead body and one in spawn. So we know that we can come out and kill those two guys without any problems. Go straight to the hill and then we will have that first spawner. And then as soon as we kill him, we know that we will have that last guy. That means all are dead and we are good. But won't you die if you don't have the undying? And the answer is yes, if you don't kind of pay attention to where people are, and if there wasn't the ability to use the bastion, because this allows you to create distance between you and the enemy and quickly kill them. You could also do something like this with a sniper, I guess, but this is more for rushing. This allows you to really put yourself in the right positions, while undying has made rushing literally run out into anywhere on the map, accidentally find somebody, hit undying, and get a kill. This makes rushing more strategic, and it really does allow you to kind of make the decisions you need to, to be able to avoid the people who are running around with undying. And we actually lived for so long, our bastion ran out of ammo. And you may be thinking, well, if you ever hit headshots, you wouldn't have run out. And you're correct, I could have got it unstoppable. See, it works great. And it does really help that I know exactly where everyone is. And once you see where they are at the start, you don't really have to keep looking. Because people do a lot of predictable things, especially on objective games. And it doesn't really require you to keep track of all those dots outside of the initial first time. You will kind of know where they're going to go and where you should position yourself to be out of their line of sight. So you don't have to constantly look at all four dots and just the ones that might be close enough to really screw you over. So don't worry about like looking around the whole time and stuff. Just make sure that you get the four dots as fast as possible, and then go ahead and act as fast as you can. That way, you can kind of just benefit from the eye and the information as much as possible. And then we are going to go out here, and luckily, we know that that guy is on the right, so we never pushed up when we normally would have. This allowed us to get the triple kill and come out of that with relatively all of our armor, and that's really nice. And then when we pop our eye, we know that there is that guy on the bottom, but also on the top, giving us a really good way to kill him. And knowing that there were only two on that side, that means they had to be coming from the other side. There is the other guy that we had saw, and if I was a little bit better at knifing, we would have got an unstoppable again. Because honestly, having all this information... And then balancing out shotguns to where assault rifles can work again has made it to where the undying accidentally finding people isn't as good as a strategy. It's why a lot of people don't like rushing now. Before, because the undying could bail you out and you also had instant shooting when you ever used such a weapon, you were encouraged to run around just aimlessly and not worry where people were as much, but just going in there and then finding them and immediately killing them. Now you have to be a little more methodical and more strategic about the things you do. And it finally makes it to where I can make the video most requested by everyone all the time, which is how to rush without undying. And you can actually do it now. And all of that comes down to the fact that when you switch your weapon to a shotgun, it will not instantly shoot anymore. And that is huge. That little delay that you guys got, like, that's going to help a lot in making Undying not as dominant. And yes, I was showing that rockets are the only things that can stop us. <laughs> One problem I do end up having a lot of the time that I've been working on 
And I kind of suck at this with all things, except for I'm dying, funny enough, is I don't use the eye when it's up as much as I should. And especially right here where it really would have helped to know where they were, since I obviously have no idea. But I don't always pay attention to when my power-up steps are ready, and it really would help my game a lot if I could get better at that. And if you guys would like me to show you a secondary rush loadout that you can use with Brawler, I can go ahead and make a video for that. It is really good, and you can do so much with it. It's really fun, and it doesn't require scout or any of the stuff you use on main rush loadouts. And uh, you can do pretty good with it. As you can see right here, I was able to go and get the 4 at once, and then the 5 at once. So if you want a secondary rush loadout video, leave a like, and let me know in the comments so I can go ahead and note if I need to make it. So here are all the things I use for this loadout and you can really use any shotgun you want. You may be able to do this with something like an Orion as well. Just something that gives you enough distance that you are able to kill them and if they hit undying it will go away before they can get in range close enough to kill you. So, if you want a more in-depth look at those perks and loadout, I have a Bastion tutorial, and I will have that link in the description. Go watch that, I explain all the perks, why you need them, and all that stuff in detail. Thank you so much to my channel members for helping me out and making all of this possible. I really appreciate it. Alright guys, I hope this has helped, and I hope you have a great day.